Hi, I'm Judy Shapiro uh, from Annapolis, Maryland, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, my art and my craft uh, by introducing you to my Baltimore album quilt. The Baltimore album quilts began in about 1840 in Baltimore, and they typically began uh, at the Methodist meetings before there were Methodist churches. Uh, women would travel from one tent meeting to the next tent meeting and share typically their their patterns and they have be become so well loved that um, they speak to us to this day. The Baltimore album quilts are built on a lexicon of symbols and that means, the lexicon means that there is a, a studied list available of the meanings of almost each and every one of these flowers and birds. Everything in the Baltimore album quilts uh, has uh, a symbolic meaning. Uh, Ellie Sinkavage speaks to this uh, very well in her first uh, self-published book, Spoken Without a Word, where there is a listing available of all of the Victorian symbols. I'd like to start off by talking about uh, the center block, which is very meaningful to me. It is a sailing ship. And the sailing ship is the symbol of the church. Sailing ship has uh, underneath of it a spray of flowers, which is very typical of this block. Um, there are the red roses. And I uh, changed my block a little bit. Because I'm from Maryland, I wanted a presence of the gold and the black, which is part of our state flag. In addition, the four flags that are shown the Swedish, the, the, the Norwegian, the British, and the American flags are for my personal family history. The quilts were made personal um, by each and every maker of every quilt, which is something that's just so amazing about them. The quilts do change so much from maker to maker by their expressions of their ideas. So this block represents, in my quilt, the four generations of members, now five generations of members, at Chevy Chase United Methodist Church in Chevy Chase, Maryland.